Good afternoon. Thank you for being here with us today. Uh, as you know, since last Wednesday, we've been here at Lake Piru searching for Naya Rivera, who was reported missing. Each day, we've utilized dozens of personnel on watercraft and helicopters with unmanned aerial systems and on shore uh, conducting a methodical and comprehensive search. Today, our search teams have recovered a body in the lake. Based on the location where the body was found, physical characteristics of the body, clothing found on the body, and the physical condition of the body, as well as the absence of any other persons reported missing in the area, we are confident the body we found is that of Naya Rivera. She was found in a northeastern portion of the lake near the surface of the water. The depth of the water in that area is, is between 35 and 60 feet deep, and there's heavy brush and trees on the, the lake bed there. As you can imagine, it has been an extremely difficult time for her family throughout this ordeal. As fathers, mothers, sons, and daughters, our hearts are with them, and we share in their grief for Naya's loss. We've been in direct contact with the family throughout this entire time, and we've kept, it, kept them updated on the progress of our search efforts throughout. Our hearts also go out to Naya's many friends and fans who have been holding out hope for the best over the past few days. Detectives from our Major Crimes Bureau began working this case from the onset. Their work on this case revealed there was no indication of foul play and no indication this was a suicide. Moving forward, Naya's body is being taken to the Ventura County Medical Examiner's Office in Ventura, where an autopsy will be performed and a positive identification will be made through the examination of dental records. And just to share with you a recap of this incident and our response to it, on July 8, 2020, last Wednesday, Naya Rivera came to Lake Piru and rented a pontoon boat at the dock. She and her four-year-old son left the dock at approximately 1 p.m. and headed toward the northern portion of the lake. We identified specific areas they visited that day by looking at the shoreline features in the background of FaceTime videos when she was chatting with family members while out on the lake. We know from speaking with her son that he and Naya swam in the lake together at some point during their journey. It was during that time that her son described being helped into the boat by Naya, who boosted him onto the deck from behind. He told investigators that he looked back and saw her disappear under the surface of the water. Naya's son was later found asleep on the boat, which was adrift in the northern portion of the lake known as the Narrows, when a leasing agent searched for the watercraft which was overdue for return. The young boy was wearing a life vest when he was found, and he was wrapped in a towel. An adult-sized life vest was found on the boat. Several witnesses who were at the lake that day have been identified and interviewed by sheriff's investigators. Three, there were three other rental boats on the lake that day. All of the people in each of those boats has been identified and interviewed. They had seen Naya's boat at different times and in several different locations during the window of time she was out on the lake. Those witness statements helped our teams focus their search in the northern and eastern portions of the lake. We received the call at 4.38 p.m. on Wednesday. Rangers at Lake Piru began searching the lake immediately. Our, our deputies arrived by 5 p.m., followed by one of our helicopters and an unmanned aircraft team. Investigators, and a boat crew with divers. By early Thursday morning, we received assistance from several neighboring law enforcement agencies. Naya's family has expressed their gratitude to all those involved in the search efforts. And we would like to thank our partner agencies for their help in this search effort. Without their assistance, we could not have covered as large an area as quickly as we did. The following agencies provided personnel, equipment, and expertise to this complex search effort. The Lake Piru Rangers, 
the Ventura County Fire Department, the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department, the San Luis Obispo County Sheriff's Office, the Tulare County Sheriff's Office, the United States Coast Guard, Forward Operating Base Point Magoo, and the California Governor's Office of Emergency Services. We also received support from Fugro Geodata Services. This company completed a detailed survey and mapping mission at the lake just three weeks earlier in advance of the upcoming seismic retrofitting of the Santa Felicia Dam at the south end of the lake. They heard about the disappearance of Naya and offered their personnel and equipment and expertise to help locate her. Their detailed maps of the lake, along with their comprehensive knowledge of the lake, have given a major boost to this search effort, and we thank them for their assistance. That concludes my comments, and I am available uh, with uh, my team here to answer any questions that you may have. We do. We do have Spanish language available. Uh, we do believe she was in that area when she went swimming, uh, based on our conversations with her son, the information that we had from the witnesses in the area. The um, search effort had been focused in that area. As I mentioned, there's heavy brush, uh, 15 to 20 feet in height, um, that had grown when the lake was drier. Uh, that, that was an empty canyon, uh, the tri uh, tributary into the lake itself. And so you had a lot of growth that, that sprung up there when the lake refilled with water, that growth remained and made it very, very difficult for divers, for our sonar operators, and for our searchers to, to search that area. We did focus on that area. We had our entire dive team scouring that area yesterday, and they were not able to find her. We believe she was concealed within some of the, the, the shrubbery on the floor bed of the lake. Did she float to the top, though, because so she came to the surface? Yes. There uh, is a detailed examination of the body yet to take place, but the initial examination from the medical examiner's office does not reveal anything that makes us suspect there's any sort of foul play involved. She went for a swim with her son, that's correct. The, the body does not have a life jacket. There was an adult-sized life jacket in the in the uh, pontoon boat that she had rented. Which is she? Was it one of the fish adventure or your CTSO boat dive boat that found her today? It, it was a, it was rescuers involved with the operation. Uh, the, the individuals that happened to find her today were Lake Piru Park Rangers. The, the condition or position? Position and condition. I'm, I'm sorry, are you saying condition? Uh, the body was floating near the surface of the water. I, I don't have the, the specific information as to whether the body was facing up or down. Um, the body looked as though it had been in the water for several days. I don't have that information. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. About 9, 10. Swimming is allowed in this lake, and uh, it's it's typically um, we, what we see at this lake is typically watercraft recreation, um, not a whole lot of swimming, but it is allowed. It uh, that's right here at the at the pier near near the dock. Uh -huh. Her, her family has been at the lake every day, um, holding out hope and communicating with our investigators and our staff. Uh, we, we've been in constant communication with them, and we've given them information before making it publicly available. And the vision today, we found that the beach was like believing her parents? Yes, that's right. They were just taken out to see where she was found? Yes. Uh, the medical examiner is um, trained and well prepared to examine bodies in various states from, from burned, burning to 
um, water damage to advanced decomposition. Um, it does complicate things a little bit. Um, in this case, there, there's decomposition that takes place, it's a natural process. It's actually part of the, the reason we were able to find her today. The body fills with gas, becomes more buoyant, and then surfaces on its own. Um, so I don't anticipate there'll be any problems um, conducting a post-mortem autopsy. Sir, you indicated that uh, according to your knowledge, you went for a swim with her son. Do we know how uh, he was able to make it back into the boat and how come it did? Is that the case? It would be speculation to say at this point. There, there are a lot of currents on the lake that, that uh, appear particularly in the afternoon. We believe it was uh, mid-afternoon when she disappeared. The idea um, perhaps being that the boat started drifting, it was unanchored, and that she mustered enough energy to get her son back onto the boat, but not enough to save herself. So we know the fact that the son went into the water? Yeah, the son was in the water, yes. You can get somebody to talk to us in Spanish? We, we do have a Spanish interpreter. Are there ladders on those rental boats? I assume there's some help. There, there, are, uh, there, there are ladders on the boats, yes. They're designed for swimming. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. That concludes the press conference. Uh, yeah, we're going to get you taken care of uh, for Spanish media. Uh, do you want to do that up here? or? That'd be easier for us. Okay. Do you want to come up? Sorry, I need to grab my mic. Will Dupree here in the KXAN live studio. We may have lost that live, live signal there from Lake Piru in Southern California, Ventura County. What the sheriff there was just confirming was that a body was found there six days after actress Naya Rivera, most famous from Glee, disappeared in the water while boating with her son. The sheriff said that he is confident that Cruz found her body. And after all this time, he, of course, extended his deepest condolences not only to her family who has been out there watching over the search, and there have been even some devastating pictures of her father swimming in the water trying to find um, and assist with that search, too. But he also said to her cast members and friends and family members who have been so worried about her whereabouts, uh, what the sheriff was saying is that she and her son, Naya Rivera, and her son rented a boat there at the lake went out uh, and apparently went for a swim and she managed to put her son back on board there on that pontoon but she was never able to come back up on board as well. Um, her son was later discovered when the a leasing agent from the boating company went out to try and check on her because the boat had not been returned in time and he, that, that's when that person found Naya Rivera's son wrapped in a towel and sleeping and there was an adult life jacket still on the boat there. This is an unfortunate update to pass along. Um, I know that a lot of people have been keeping up with the search after these six days and had hoped for better news, but unfortunately that's not able to be shared at this time. The sheriff did say that there is no indication of foul play or suicide at this time. Uh, there will be a more careful examination of the body by the medical examiner in Ventura County, and that will be underway at some point shortly. We thank you all again for watching us. Uh, this is Will Dupree in the KXAN live studio. Once again, the Ventura County Sheriff says he is confident that a body found at Lake Piru in Southern California belongs to actress Naya Rivera. She went missing at that lake six days ago after a boating trip with her young son. So uh, we will put the updated information up on our website, kxan.com and the KXAN News app. For now, we're going to take down this stream, and we extend our deepest condolences to her family after this terrible time. Thank you all again for watching. We'll see you back here another time. Please, everyone, stay safe and healthy, and if at all possible, still at home.